Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using moment distribution method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 20 kN acting in the center. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9.6 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the support B, we have a coupled movement 24 kN meter. It is acting in the clockwise direction. Length of AB is 4 meter. Length of BC is 5 meter. In the point A, we have a fixed support. In the points B and C, we have hinged supports. Now, let us find the fixed end movements. First, let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 20 kN acting in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. Here W is 20, L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now let us find the fixed end movements in the span BC. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 9.6 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 9.6 and L is 5. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. In the moment distribution method, we have to find the distribution factor. To find the distribution factor, we have to calculate the stiffness. Let us see the formulas to find the stiffness. If the fair end is fixed, the formula is 4EA upon L. If the fair end is hinged or with the roller support, the formula is 3EA upon L. If the fair end is continuous, the formula is 4EA upon L. In the joint B, first let us find the stiffness for BA. For that, from the point B, we have to look at the point A. In the point A, there is a fixed support. If the fair end is fixed, the formula is 4EA upon L. Length of BA is 4. Let us apply that. Finally, for the stiffness of BA, we are getting EI. Now, let us find the stiffness for BC. For that, from the point B, we have to look at the point C. In the point C, there is a hinged support. If the fair end is hinged, the formula for the stiffness is 3EA upon L. Length of BC is 5. Let us apply that. For the stiffness of BC, we are getting 0.6EA. Now, let us find sigma K. For that, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting 1.6EA. Now, let us find the distribution factor. The formula is k upon sigma k. We have calculated the k and sigma k values. Using the formula, we can get the distribution factors. Now, let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. Then, let us enter the distribution factor values. Then, let us enter the fixed end movements. In the point C, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So, we have to make CB 0. For CB, the fixed end movement is 20. When we add minus 20 with this 20, we will get 0. We have released CB and we have to give carry over 
from CB to BC, when we divide minus 20 by 2, we will get minus 10. Now let us find the adjusted fixed end moments for AB and BA. There are no changes. For BC, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting minus 30. Now let us make the first distribution in the joint B. First, let us do for BA. For that, we have to add these two fixed end moments and then multiply with the distribution factor at BA. When we do that, we are getting a negative value. So we are entering inside the table as positive. Now let us do the distribution for BC. For that, we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factor at BC. When we do that, we are getting a negative value. So we are entering inside the table as positive. Now let us do the carryover. When we divide 12.5 by 2, we will get 6.25. We cannot make the carryover between BC and CB because we have released CB and made it 0. Now we can't continue further. We know that we can make the distribution only in the joint B. But in joint B there are no values. So we cannot make any more distributions. Let us add the values and get the total. When we add these two values, we will get minus 3.75. When we add these two values, we will get 22.5. And finally, when we add these two values, we will get minus 22.5. In the joint B, there is a couple 24 kilonewton meter. It is acting in the clockwise direction. We have to balance this couple. Since it is acting in the clockwise direction, it should be applied as positive. First, let us distribute for BA. For BA, the distribution factor is 0 0.625. When we multiply 24 with 0 0.625, we will get 15. Let us apply that. Now let us distribute for BC. For BC the distribution factor is 0 0.375. When we multiply 24 with 0 0.375 we will get 9. Let us apply that. Here we have to be very careful. We have to apply the same value as it is. We should not change the sign. If it is positive, we have to apply as positive and if it is negative, we have to apply as negative. We should not change the signs. Now let us give carry over from BA to AB. When we divide 15 by 2, we will get 7.5. Also we know that we should not make any carry over between BC and CB. Now let us find the final moments. For that we have to add these two values. After adding we are getting the final moments. In this analysis we have calculated all of the moments. Now let us find the vertical reactions. First let us find them in the span AB. When we take moment about B we are getting RA. By applying this rule, we are getting RB1. Now let us find the reactions in the span BC. When we take moment about C, we are getting RB2. When we apply this rule, we are getting RC. Let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Here I have drawn the shear force diagram. Using these formulas, we can draw the free movement diagram. Using the direction of the movements, we can draw the end movement diagram. After combining both of the diagrams, we will get the bending movement diagram.